Ok, so now we are going to do the review of the water quality workshop. So basically we have here three different scenarios. One scenario where we are going to model the dispersion of the total dissolved solids. Another scenario to model the dispersion of chlorine in the network. And another scenario to simulate water age um, in the network. So before we start, um, how can we insert the characteristics and properties of the, the contaminants or the pollutants that we have in, in our network? So we go to um, the alternatives, so here, and we have an alternative uh, for uh, modeling the water quality. Um, the, the, these alternatives are composed by age, constituent, or trace. Okay. If we want to model um, pollutant dispersion in the network or a contaminant dispersion in the network or a, any, any constituent that we want to model, uh, also like chlorine, we have to um, create or to edit an alternative inside the constituent alternative. Okay. As you can see here, we have here two alternatives that were already defined. One alternative for the total dissolved solids and another alternative for the chlorine. If I open here the alternative for total dissolved solids, uh, here is where I define uh, the constituent. Okay, so in this, uh, clicking this button, it will open this window. And here I have defined the total dissolved solids. I have to insert diffusivity, uh, the bulk reaction order, okay, and another for chlorine, okay, as well we have diffusivity and bulk reaction order, okay. Here I'm choosing the total dissolved solids, okay, that was created. And then I have to insert the initial conditions of this contaminant in my network, okay. What, wh what are the sources and uh, what is the concentration at, at the time uh, equals zero. So basically, we have said that at the, the initial time step, we have zero uh, total dissolved solids in the pipes and also zero in the junctions, our sources will be um, the tank is the, the tanks, the two tanks. So tank number one and tank number two, we define the initial concentration of total dissolved solids of 300, okay? And for the reservoirs, they are also source of this uh, contaminant. Uh, reservoir one, 250, reservoir three, 600, okay? So after defining this, um, in the option solver of the run, we have to set the, the um, calculation type to constituent, okay? So the scenario that we are modeling has a calculation options um, set to constituent. So after this, it is uh, ready to run. Um, we can run. This, alter, this, this scenario, and we can see how this um, total dissolved solids will uh, disperse in the network over time. Okay, so we have the concentration defined, and now let's run this. So, as you see now, over time we can see how this total dissolved solid spreads over the network and is consumed uh, in the nodes um, along the time, okay? Because our sources of uh, this contaminant are the, re the reservoirs and the tanks, it's normal that near these reservoirs we have higher concentration, okay? Reservoir one is where we have lower concentrations, that's why it's, it is green, okay? okay. Um, now let's see the chlorine. Okay, I changed the scenario to chlorine and compute. I ch the, um, to see the results in color coded in the map, I have to set at the pipe the field concentration calculated. Um, I just need to change these values because this field concentration is used to simulate any constituent in the network. Uh, in the um, previous run, we, are, we were simulating total dissolved solids that have different concentrations than chlorine. So usually, 
chlorine, uh, we are talking about very uh, much lower concentration. So I just need to define again the the range. Okay. Okay. So red, um, bigger concentration. Green, lower concentration of chlorine. I will apply this to the network, and now we can play. Okay. And now we can see um, our sources of uh, chlorine. Uh, in this case are the reservoirs where we have higher concentration okay uh, so these are the sources of chlorine reservoir 1 and reservoir 3 that's why we have higher concentrations near these two uh, reservoirs okay so remember where we can see the initial sources of chlorine we go to the alternative in this case chlorine and we can see that the initial concentration in each reservoir it's one milligram per liter okay at the tanks we have zero and now uh, finally uh, let's see and model the age of the water inside the network okay here the difference is that we have to input the initial um, initial age of water for time step equals zero at the alternative age Okay, so what we considered was that some nodes we have an initial concentration, an initial age of water of one hour. Okay, at the tank we are assuming that water was there for, for uh, 72 hours. Okay, the reservoirs have zero hours. Okay, so when we are running this scenario uh, with age, okay, so this scenario, the calculation options that we have to use is uh, the calculation options where we consider the age. So in this case, this scenario uh, is considering these calculation options, age. So let's go to these calculation options, age, and you can see that the calculation type is set to age. Okay. So remember, for total dissolved solids and chlorine, the calculation type is set to constituent. If we want to model the age of water, we set this calculation type to age. Okay and now run in this case we have to turn on another property that is h in the pipes okay let's open the legend okay so this is in hours okay the red is more than 137 hours so we can play this and see that uh, higher edge are near tank one and two as we grow up in time okay i can move forward okay at tank two we, we can achieve um, a time in, in the network bigger than 137 hours okay okay so we have seen the results in the map color coded uh, we can also see uh, results from diff several different ways. So basically, we can click in any element in the network, like a node or a pipe. And uh, in the property editors, we can see the results uh, of the water quality. So we have here a results water quality where we have H or trace or concentration. In this case, we are simulating a scenario with, I with H. So we can see the results for the H. Uh, this result uh, that we are seeing here uh, for the age, it's specifically for the time that we are now. So we are uh, simulating for the time 250, 50, 55, right? So uh, in this case, the time of residence or the age of water in this node is one hour and, and, and 1.3 hours, okay? As you see, if we change the time bar here, we will see the age of the water inside this node, J17, changing along the simulation. Okay? And we can see this for pipes or any node or tanks. Okay? We also have another way to see the results. So we have here um, a tab in the properties that we call the res results statistics. For example, here we have a minimum age of um, 0 0.8. Okay, and the maximum age of 2.2 hours. Okay, this is for all the time of the simulation. Okay, we can also see the results in 
to flex tables or we can for example see the results in the in the graph so for example if I click with the right button on graph I select H okay I select the scenario the scenario it's H and then the results okay what I want to see it's H okay and this is the age over time for this specific node okay um, we can also see for example any type of concentration so if I change the scenario to chlorine I click with the, the right button again graph instead of age I want to see chlorine its concentration okay here we have the concentration of chlorine in the network in this node Okay, so it starts with zero over time. Uh, it uh, uh, it reached an equilibrium after uh, just some time. It reached the equilibrium where the chlorine is between 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 at this node. Okay. Okay, we can also see, for example, imagine that I want to see um, maximum water age inside the tank. Okay. Usually this is very useful when we are modeling water distribution networks. We want to avoid uh, long residence times inside water tanks. So for example, uh, changing to the H scenario, right? Can click on the tank one, for example, on the graph and pick the H result. Okay. And I can see that uh, the age of the water inside my tank along the time, so this is the time of the simulation, uh, it's, the maximum is more or less in this uh, value here. We are talking about 82 hours. Okay, 82 hours is more or less three, uh, more than three days, three half days. So for this tank, it is okay. Let's see for tank number two. We can set the same graph. Okay, we want to see water quality results. H. You are talking about, for example, more than 130 hours. Okay, this is more uh, than uh, this is more more than five days. So, in this case, we can already have a problem. Okay, because uh, when we have water inside the tanks uh, older than five days, usually chlorine residuals uh, start to decrease uh, the concentrations and then can bacterial growth can occur. Okay, so uh, we want to avoid this time of, of residence, this age of time inside the tanks. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.